up love so I am back for another video this is going to be the battle of the red wigs this one here is from Friday night hair and this is the GLS 78 so this one is very long for one and it's very very red yes so in the colors, I noticed that they're not all one solid red. To me, it looks like a red and kind of like a fuchsia color, I want to say. But yeah, so I was trying something different, you girls. You know I don't do these colors, but it's always nice to step out of the box, even if it's for a video review, even if it's for you and not for me. You know what I'm saying? So it is a lace front. It does have the combs in the temples and the adjustable strap and the comb in the back there is no part so i already went ahead and put a part but the one thing that i don't like is i don't like my roots to be the same color as the hair i need it to be darker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to darken the roots so the first thing that i'm going to be using is some hairspray and i'm going to place it right where the part is right around the hair of it and i'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush it into the hair the actual hairspray and it's synthetic so you can still do that next thing I'm going to use is some deepest brown matte eyeshadow to actually start my part off getting it a little bit dark okay love so what I'm doing here is I'm placing the deepest brown eyeshadow onto where I spray the hairspray at this hairspray will make the eyeshadow stick and also the eyeshadow is basically a shadow for the background of the next product that I'm going to be using so this is basically what I do when I want dark roots and the roots are all one color now as I said the eyeshadow is a basic backup color or shadow for the other product which is the mascara so I am using a cheaper mascara I mean this is by motives but I'm really not a huge fan of this mascara so I'm going to do is brush it sparingly into the fibers of the wig and the next important step is taking a toothbrush and brushing that mascara downward into the wig so that it doesn't look clumpy or thick or sticky on the unit and you want to do that throughout the entire unit this will give the most realistic look so if you have any type of mascara you can go ahead and use that just go very light handed on it and with a good toothbrush brush it in see the roots are darker which is great um the reason why i use two products the eyeshadow gives it like a shadow behind you don't want to build it up with eyeshadow nor do you want to use a lot of mascara because mascara can get kind of hard so you first want to get either a black or a deepest brown eyeshadow and place that where you want your mascara to go and then you'll take your mascara like I showed and you'll place just a little bit get yourself an old toothbrush something that you're not gonna brush your teeth with and brush it downward so that way it's not caked up the next thing I'm going to use is my concealer from Beauty Treats and now that I have that done, it's time to put her on. ladies so here is the GLS 78 and I swear I hope that's the right item number but like I said I will post it for you guys below so you know something I will say this you have to get a wig and you have to make it yours you cannot expect to look like the model or the mannequin that's rocking it if the length is not for you cut yes, it the color is suitable um 
it's not bright bright red but it's like a wine color red you know what I mean like a darker red not as dark as I would like it but I do like the color okay and you know I put my own little flare in it I cut the layers right here because I like the part on the side and I like it higher when I do wild big hair I like it to be like really high on one any any side it doesn't matter what side but I just need it to be high on one but side she's really pretty as long as you tweak it and do what you need to do to it, then I think it's, it can be a really great wig for the price. Darken the roots, layer it a little bit, and make it yours, and I think the wig could be a really great wig. This is the color, how it actually looks with my ring light turned off. You girls can see that. So I turned my ring light off so that you can get like a more visual of how the color actually looks okay i probably look crazy with the so my kids would probably be like take that off so friday night hair i've been down with them since a very long time i always say that they have some really great wigs some of them you might need to tweak but that goes to say with any lace front wig even if it's synthetic or human a lot of times you gotta make them yours you gotta tweak them they don't come out the box just perfect i'll post the information for you girls below for this one right here so yeah i'm like red y'all super red i better get my like red attitude on put my shirt off the shoulder and look spunky you know what i'm saying look spunky but anyway, so yes, all the products that I used in this video will be listed for you girls below. You know, it's the normal stuff that I always use. And as always, let me know what you think of this unit. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, send your friends, send your family over to my channel. And I will see you ladies and gents on my next video. And stay diva and divalicious.